Hello, my name is Leanne Worrell, and today I'd like to show you, uh, in this sample company on QuickBooks Online, how to do a de uh, customer deposit in advance of shipping the product or, or doing the service. Uh, there's several set steps to doing this, so I'll go through them. The first thing that you would have to do is to look to see if you have a chart of account items under liabilities called customer deposits. So you can either go under transactions here to your chart of accounts or you can you can go here under sorry yes here under the gear icon to chart of accounts. Okay so there's two ways to get there. So I just happen to know that there is not a liability account called customer deposits. So we're going to make a new one. Okay, so this will be a other current liabilities because that's all that we have to pick from here. So okay, we'll just call this other current liabilities and the type will be this actually is a unearned revenue. Um, I'm just looking at the type that would be best for this. <clears throat> it's fine just where we have it. Just under current liabilities is fine. Um, okay, and then we would call this customer deposits. Whoops. And the tax code, because this is just going to be a deposit, is we'll just make it uh, exempt. And that's it. Save and close. Okay, so if I sort this by name, we can see our customer deposits. <clears throat> there it is, right there. Okay, and it's exempt. So now I'm going to pick a customer. We'll go and find a customer. This is a sample account. Okay, we'll just use Adwin Co. Let's write him down because we'll use him for everything we're going to do here. <clears throat> Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to do an estimate because when a customer is paying something in advance, uh, they would like to know approximately how much it's going to cost because just say you're asking for half of the money up front, they just want something that they can pay from. So that's the first thing that I would do. I would do a estimate. So we're going to do, and this is a, the estimate is always a non-posting transaction, but you can email that to your customer. Okay, so we're going to do this for Adwin Co. And right now it's pending. Uh, and once they accept it, they will accept it and they will, um, they will say accepted and the date and their initials. And then then we can uh, do the invoice for it. <clears throat> so we're going to do the product here. Can be, I'm actually going to make an inventory product, which name badges are. So I don't know. Let's do like 5,000 of them or something. <laughs> 500. That's 1,000. Make it even $3,000. So it'll be three thousand dollars. So we can send we can send this to our customer. We do not have an email for Adwin, but uh, you would send that to your customer. Okay, you might want to put a message on uh, estimated time of delivery, blah blah blah, whenever um, you believe that the product will actually be delivered. <clears throat> So you you would you would click save and send, but we can't say uh, send it. So I will just uh, click send. Again, this is a non-posting transaction, and we're able to copy it this to an invoice, which is great. 
Okay, so that has been saved. So now what we want to do is we want to make an inventory item. So we will go under our gear icon under products and services and we'll go new. And what we want to do is we want to make it a service inventory item. And we're going to call it customer deposits. Oh, I'm not going to bother putting it under a category right now. This is just uh, just to show you how to do this. Uh, I'm not going to put a description in here because you will put your own description on it when you when you do the deposits. There's not going to be tax on here. It will be exempt or zero rated. I think it's exempt. And we don't need any purchasing information. Okay, so it has to, it will be a service item and the income account is not going to be services. We are going to put it under our newly made account, which is under miscellaneous liabilities and called customer deposits. It's finding it here. Where the heck did it go? I go buy this again. <laughs> Not miscellaneous, it's other current other current liabilities. So there's customer deposit. So that's where we want to put that. So the, the customer deposit current liability, actually you might say it's unearned revenue. Okay, and then when we would save it and close this. Okay, we're gonna go back over to customers and now we're going to make an invoice for Adwin. Go into his account here. Okay, so we have an estimate for $3,000 just to say that we have sent that to them and it's come back and they've approved it. They say they've accepted it. So now we're ready to do an invoice um, to bill for half of that $3,000 that we're going to get up front. So we're going to do a new transaction and this time it's going to be an actual invoice. And if you have uh, your payment online set up, your pay now button, that uh, they will be able to pay that way if they, they wish. So because this is a sample account, they can't have this set up But right here, but you, you would have that probably set up. So uh, we're going to make this, uh, because it's payment in advance, we're going to have it due on receipt. Uh, just say it was a day after we did the or two days after we did the other one <clears throat> for the estimate where they finally accepted it and that whoops the due date's gonna be the tenth too. I mean it should have automatically put it in there except I typed something there. Okay, there you can see the estimate. We don't need that right now. We will we, we will need it when we finally finish the the invoice with the amount of their payment up front off their customer deposit. So the product is going to be our new product that we put in here, customer deposits. And we'll just put uh, deposit, deposit for half for this half of, uh, of the total, I don't know what to say, <laughs> total of estimate number 1005. You can see on the right, that's our estimate that we did. So um, before tax, that was uh, $3,000. So we just quantity one. It's just a, this is just like a service. It's not a inventory it's just service so it doesn't matter it's not keeping track of uh, inventory um, so quantity one and we'll make it fifteen hundred dollars 
and it's going to be tax exempt because we're just uh, we just want payment from them okay so now we'll just go in and we can accept that we can I mean sorry we can save that actually we would normally save that and send and email that but we can't because again this is this is a sample account so we'll just pretend that it isn't <laughs> we'll pretend that the customers got this so we're saving it now okay that's been saved so the last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to do an invoice no sorry <laughs> That's not the last thing that we're going to do. We're going to do a delayed credit, which, okay, I'll show you what will happen. We're going to do a delayed credit, or delayed, just a minute, delayed, where's the delayed credit? There we go. Okay. Delayed credit. We'll choose the customer again. Add one co and product is going to be. This is because they have. Well, we're saying that they have paid that invoice that we just did for fifteen hundred dollars, half of the invoice up front. Okay, so that we're saying that that's been paid. Actually, hasn't here, but we're we're saying that it has. So we'll put it under customer deposits. And I'm just going to say, because this is going to go on our invoice and the bottom of our invoice is a credit, I'm just going to put uh, last deposit received on, I don't know, I think we did this for March 10th, 2017. <clears throat> and I'm just going to manually put this in. So the deposit was $1,500 and it will be exempt. You can make a class if you've got classes here too. And we will save it. And we do not, uh, this is a delayed credit, so it does not go to the customer. So we're just going to save and close that one. Okay. So now, what we want to do is we want to do we want to turn this invoice because we can turn this invoice into we I mean sorry this estimate here for the three thousand uh, dollars thirty three ninety with tax we want to turn the estimate into an invoice so we're going to start invoice okay and say we ship this this will be net 30 days uh, you, depending on what your customer is you can make new terms it could be net 60 or net 90 whatever so let's just say we delivered at say 1004 like a month later so now this is when we're billing the total amount less the credit that we just did. Okay, so we're going to add the credit in here. Well, just add it. There we go. So it's taking off that $1,500 and it's charging HST on the total amount of $3,000, which it should do. So we're good to go. We can save and send that now to the customer and the customer can pay the balance of the invoice. I hope I explained that properly. It's uh, kind of hard sometimes when you're sitting here by yourself uh, trying to explain something. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful and have a great day. Bye now.